a happy Tuesday. And instead of looking at a particular Bible verse today, I'm going to look more at a person of the Bible. I'm going to look at the life of David. And more importantly, when I think about David, I think about the giants that were put in to his life. Now, I have, I'm going to ask you this question. What are the giants that are in your life right now? Those giants that are bigger than you realize, bigger than you even want to tackle. Maybe it's something with a friend, or maybe it's an argument or something that there's conflict between child and parent, or maybe it's the giant of employment, or is this the right time to move, or maybe there's some financial problems. What are those giants in your life that you need to pause and say, Lord, help me. Help me to deal with these giants. And I'm going to read a passage from 1 Samuel here as we think about this situation that's at hand with David and Goliath. There were David was faced with many giants throughout. Sometimes those giants won and sometimes David won. And in this case right here with David and Goliath, we know that the outcome was victorious for David. Even though he was a small little boy facing a very tall giant, God used him to take the, take down the giant. And this is what it says here. Then David said to the Philistine, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you down. Sometimes we have to think about <clears throat> using a very small stone and start tackling our giants. Maybe it's with conversation with people. Maybe it's starting with prayer and asking God, use me or how can you use me to tackle this giant that's in my life? It's not always easy to admit that those giants are there. Now, in this situation, there, <clears throat> there were many other people and armies trying to take down Goliath. But David overheard and he heard God talking to him and he went and told the army chief commander, I'm your man, send me, let me take care of it. Well, maybe there's people in your life that are willing to walk beside you to face your giants. Whatever those giants are, turn them over to the Lord. Let the Lord say, here, this is the path to take to defeat it. Or these are the people that are going to help you defeat your giant. So giants come in many sizes. They affect us in different ways, and we each have our own lists. But I pray that today as you <clears throat> reflect on the story of David and Goliath, and even more importantly, the life of David and all the giants he had, may you find that you're able to defeat those giants that are in your life one by one. And we start with prayer, and we ask that you are able to succeed. Have a good day.